down with you, Zion! For Sparta! For freedom! To the death! Welcome back to the channel everybody. We have got a great one for you today. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to build your own animatronic figure for your RC car? Well, we're going to get into it today and we're going to go over the basics of how to make your own animatronic driver for your RC car. And we are doing it on the Crazy Horse build. This is our super modified RC pulling tractor. This thing is absolutely outrageous. If you guys haven't seen this build, you guys got some videos to catch up on. And we are gonna get into some of the updates that we have been building and why this is gonna give us the advantage uh, on the track. So, but before we get into that, let's just have a look at our uh, figure here. This is our driver. We haven't got a name for him. If you guys figure out a name for him, uh, put it down in the comments. This is such a cool thing to do to an RC and it really, you're just dealing with these micro servos. Uh, these are the Traxxas ones, the similar ones that you find on a on a diff or a transmission selector, uh, they actually work out perfect because there's not any torque being put on them uh, and you can hide them away really easy. As you can see here, we've used this leather jacket that he is supporting here. I'm not really sure what brand it is, but it's sure doing the job. Uh, its job is just to hide uh, the servos. If we pull this down just a little bit, you can see his, his neck there. This head, is actually from an axial package that you can probably uh, order online if you can see oh oh this is gonna hurt oh it's terrible it's terrible all right you see there we've just got a bolt that goes all the way down to that servo and it just works out great so let's put his uh head back together there we don't want him to be uh without that for sure so two hours later all right we got them back together so let's fire this thing up and let's show you exactly what we're talking about here and what makes this so cool now this jacket would normally be held up because this hand right here is going to go on the steering wheel and that is also going to be hooked up to a servo. And so every time you turn the steering wheels, the head will turn and the steering wheel will turn back and forth. And you can hook all these functions up to your steering servo. All you're gonna need is uh, really just a set of Y connectors just like this that can be ordered online. Uh, that you can set up two different uh, functions through. Which uh, also, we've got to get into some of the wiring on this ESC as well. But let's fire up our driver here and see how he works. All right. So we have it hooked up to the steering channel. So here is his head moving. And you can move it as fast as you want, as slow as you want. You can have it, uh, you can even use uh, the dials over here to position his head permanently in a certain place or to have it staring a certain direction. So we have our third channel right here set up through the throttle and all modified tractors have a lever right here uh, that they use for the throttle. So what we're using is our third channel right here and like I said that jacket would normally stay up a little bit better um, with that hand in place when it's finished so that's kind of how he's gonna look 
and uh, I think that's really cool and something you should know is this Spectrum receiver is unique in the third channel most typical receivers when you hit the switch it stays there but this particular one when you let off of it it moves back to the neutral position so this is the only receiver that I have found that uh, performs this function uh, the way you're seeing it so be careful when you're choosing uh, your receiver and your radio combination when doing one of these animatronic builds so this is the reason uh, for the spectrum receiver and uh, there you go guys just a basic animatronic guy and uh, we're gonna get him all fixed up and he is going to be driving this tractor and he's really excited about it so, all right guys, let's get into our updates that uh, everybody's been waiting to see this build complete, but it really is harder to build your own RC. It's just, uh, there's a lot of work into it. So, here we have our hitch, and these are our skids. What these skids do is when the tractor comes up off the ground, those skids will stop it and bring that tractor back down safely without having a catastrophe and you uh, tipping over your tractor. So we have two different levels of a hitch right here and the reason for that is we want one below the axle and one above the axle and the reason for that is the leverage that you get. Um, if we have a track that's grabbing really, really hard, we're probably going to want to use that lower hitch because um, you're going to have less wheel speed and it'll be easier for that front end to come off the ground. If you have a real loose track, chances are you're going to want more leverage, so you put this uh, on the hitch up here and that's going to allow for the front end to come up off the, the ground um, a, a lot easier and uh, allow for those tires to slow down on a slippery track so let me uh, let me kind of nerd out here and show you what I'm talking about so the, the and the reason for the hitch being out away from the axle see this is not a conventional tractor guys we are building this very differently uh, most tractors you would see would not have a center drive like this in fact they put the motors this way and have the transmission kind of uh, zigzag back here to the rear axles to a solid axle but their hitches are right up here so what happens is it's very difficult right here to pull the weight of this front end of the tractor up. So what happens is they end up going down the track and the front end of the tractor never comes up. It never comes up off the ground. It might just a little bit, but for the most part it stays down because it doesn't have enough leverage to get these rear wheels uh, to grab enough to pull this front end off the ground. So let me uh, let me talk nerdy to you here for a second and show you a little math demonstration. So what we have here is a, a, a pivot point, a fulcrum, and a leverage. Okay, so this is the way that they have a conventional RC puller hitches set up. So when you put pressure right back here, it is you can kind of see it's difficult to maintain that levelness it's i'm having to actually put a little bit of pressure here to get this to come up off the ground but if you move the hitch back just a little bit it, it takes a lot less pressure to pull that front end off the ground where i can have all of the weight of the front of the tractor and all of the weight of the sled pulling on these rear tires so um, that is, uh, that is definitely, uh, something cool that I am experimenting with that I think is going to be excellent for this tractor. If you guys are wondering how we hook up all of these ESCs, uh, to one receiver, uh, we might have to do a separate video on that, but let me just kind of show you here. 
You can only have one ESC powering your receiver. The other three ESCs are slaves to this. So they're all listening to the commands of this ESC or whichever, whichever ESC you guys choose. Now, as you can see, I've pulled out the power wire here. So on three of the ESCs, the power wire is taken out. And then on the master ESC, the power wire is intact. So uh, as you're plugging this into your uh, receiver, it's only receiving power from one ESC so you won't burn out uh, your receiver by overvolting it. So that's how we hook that up. Uh, guys, this build is just, uh, it's so much fun. Gosh, it just really opens your mind at what is possible in the RC world. And hopefully you guys are getting some cool ideas. Hopefully this is sparking some creative uh, genius out there. And you guys are, are going to be building your own animatronic drivers in your RCs. I know that there are a lot of applications where this will work out. So I'm very excited to see where this build goes. Uh, we are going to keep building the crazy horse guys and we will see you radio heads on the next one.